Space rovers? Impossible. Electric trucks? Impossible. Even something as simple as a pencil was once impossible. All these things were once unthinkable. But at Atlassian, we know for a fact that impossible things are only impossible alone. Since 2002, teams of all sizes have used our collaboration software to power all kinds of projects together. Sorry, geniuses, but few things are actually accomplished alone. We're at our best when we put our heads together in order to take the big swings. When was the last time you accomplished something big? It was probably by working together. Teamwork is how you get to somewhere new or make a process a whole lot better. That's how you make the impossible possible. It's not rocket science. Well, sometimes it is. Please welcome to the stage co-founder and co-CEO Scott Farquhar. A huge welcome to Team 23. We've got a lot in store for you today. A huge good day to the thousands of you watching in our live audience and to the many more of you watching on our live stream. The reason we're all here today and the reason Alassian exists is to unleash your team's potential. And when we think how best to do this, we at Alassian hold some very fundamental beliefs. We believe in the power of teams. But the lone genius is a myth. We believe the most important challenges, the most significant opportunities are truly impossible to achieve alone. These hopes and dreams, impossible alone, become possible when teams work together. And let's face it, with everything going on in the world right now, there are some challenges, but equally a lot of pretty incredible opportunities. So the good news is that while tough times don't last, great teams do. So whether that's a two-person team who haven't yet discovered Silicon Valley t-shirts, or much larger teams exploring the possibility of life beyond our planet. Or even teams ensuring the comfort of our feet for those of us still standing firmly on Earth. It's the incredible achievement of teams like those at NASA, at Bombas, and teams at each of your companies that continue to inspire us. And we know that teams do incredible work at organizations of every shape, every size, every industry, and every location. So that's why I'm super proud to announce that at Atlassian, we just surpassed 250,000 customers. We're so proud to be able to support your teams to achieve what would otherwise be impossible to achieve alone. It's not just paying customers who benefit. There are thousands of not-for-profits who also benefit through our Pledge 1% movement. Atlassian is a founding member of Pledge 1%, where companies pledge to give 1% of their product, employee time, equity, and profit to make the world a better place. To date, over 17,000 companies have pledged, including Canva, Twilio, DocuSign, and many of the Atlassian partner organizations here in the audience with us today. Through Atlassian Foundation, we've had a huge impact. We've given away over 133,000 community licenses, 200,000 hours of Alaskan volunteering time, and over $54 million of donations. I want to say a massive thank you to you, our customers, because every time you purchase from Atlassian, we are able to support these incredible teams who are changing the world for the better.
Our second belief is that there is not a single way of working. Each of your teams is unique, and don't believe anyone who sells you a one-size-fits-all solution. Even within Atlassian, we have different teams who use different products to track work. And that's because we're a big believer that we should leave space for different teams to have different cultures, rituals, and practices. But it's also critical that when you offer this type of autonomy to your teams, there's also the ability to track work across your company. You need to balance your autonomy with alignment. You need the full picture. And that's one of the reasons we built the Alaskan platform. To allow flexibility in the way that your teams work. In our platform, we built features like smart links to connect to and embed work from third-party apps and everything across the web directly into your products, no matter where work was being started. And in products like Atlas, which is the only teamwork directory that keeps teams in sync, no matter which apps they choose to track their work in. So no matter where your teams choose to do their work, the Atlassian platform enables your teams to balance autonomy and alignment and work differently together. Our third belief is that distributed work is here to stay. Now, despite what some workplace commentators would have you believe, the majority of teams are no longer working in the office five days a week. And if they are, research shows us that they'd prefer not to be. And Atlassian is living, breathing proof. A few years on from the introduction of Team Anywhere, 40% of Atlassians are considered remote. That's 4,000 of our teammates doing their best work, kicking goals, building team bonds, none of whom would be able to work for Atlassian and live where they want to without Team Anywhere. But in the same breath, we're also no strangers to the fact that effective teamwork in a distributed world means focusing on culture, not just on tooling. So in true Atlassian style, we've taken everything we've learned about being a globally distributed company and we're making it available to you. In the Atlassian Team Anywhere playbook, you'll find a collection of plays to try out with your teams to help set rituals and a shared understanding that you need across your team to nail distributed work. Our final belief is that every business is becoming a technology business. We live in a world where cars update themselves as we drive them, where watches don't just tell the time, they save lives, and a world where your three-year-old can converse with AI using a, spe a speaker in your living room. And with all the incredible achievements and uh, advancements in AI over these past few weeks and months, the decade-old adage that software is eating the world rings truer than ever. And with more than 20 years of experience, we know that building winning technology teams uh, is a team sport. It requires teamwork, not just in your development team, but your IT and your business teams as well. That's why over the past six months, we've held three team-focused events around the world. We visited Berlin for Unleash, an event focused on software development teams where we showcase products to help you improve practices across your software development lifecycle. Let's face it, there's a lot that needs to happen to build technology these days, from prototyping to writing code, deployments, testing, even monitoring uptime and performance. And we help you with many of these areas, but there was one area we felt was missing. There hasn't been a great way for product managers and business analysts to collect insights on, prioritize, and collaborate on new product ideas until now. At Unleash, we announced Jira Product Discovery, an all-new product built on the Jira platform with a beautiful new interface. Jira Product Discovery has some of the highest customer satisfaction ratings we've ever seen. It's built for product managers and their teams to ideate, prioritize, and communicate. It's so easy to use and so useful that we think every company using Jira software should also be using Jira Product Discovery. Let me show you why. Firstly, it allows you to easily capture data and insights like product opportunities, user feedback, and requests all in one place. And these insights can come from anywhere. Google Docs, Slack comments, Zendesk, Salesforce, and a fullest confluence. Anywhere across the web can feed insights into Jira product discovery. Second, with impact assessment, you can quickly compare 
key criteria across views, formulas, custom fields in order to build confidence in your product decisions. So in this example, you can see we're comparing risk versus effort. So no matter whether you're optimizing for market share or revenue or the most number of happy customers, you can model it and prioritize accordingly. Thirdly, with roadmaps, you can create custom views of your ideas that can be shared with any stakeholder. So not only do roadmaps excel at sharing with, <coughs> with internal stakeholders, such as your development or sales teams, they also allow you to share externally, such as with specific named customers. Lastly, ideas remain just that, ideas, unless you can build them. Easily go from roadmaps to delivery with tight Jira software integration, allowing you to seamlessly link it all together in the same platform to provide end-to-end -end traceability. Jira Product Discovery joins our family of Agile and DevOps products, which were recently recognized by Gartner as a leader in enterprise Agile planning. But let's not forget, these development teams also need to work closely with IT, which takes us to our high-velocity event. At High Velocity, we made a pledge, a pledge to end bad service management, which is the unfortunate reality across many companies when dev, IT, and business teams work in silos. So how would you know if your company is suffering from bad service management? Well, for one, you might notice that your budget is bloated. Recent research shows that 10, 8 out of 10 IT organizations overspend on IT service management by a whopping 50% of the contract value. That's a big chunk of change that can be reinvested in other parts of your business. And as we know, in the current business environment, getting value for money is more important than ever. So that's why we see more companies move to Jira Service Management, which covers all your ITSM needs, whether it's request management to enable your employees and customers to quickly get the help they need, or rapidly resolving and continuously learning from incidents, or change in asset management. JSM can handle it all. Forrester and Gartner back us up here. Jira Service Management is a leader in ITSM, and more companies than ever are making the switch. Jira Service Management is now used by more than 45,000 organizations around the world. So if you're not yet one of these companies, if you haven't yet made the switch, please consider switching and help us end bad service management for good. Last but not least, we held Work Life this past September in San Francisco to talk all things work management. Atlassian's work management products are now used by over 150,000 organizations worldwide. And while most of you know Atlassian for Jira software, it's not well known that there are more people using our work management products than all other Atlassian products combined. In fact, teams at 430 of the Fortune 500 use these products to work differently together. Now, to make it easy to adopt these products, we've recently bundled them together. And so we call it Atlassian Together a single cloud subscription for our entire family of work management products, all included at an irresistible price. Atlassian Together is already helping teams at organizations like Reddit who've been able to easily remove friction from their business and technical teams by giving everyone across their organization one platform for Atlassian's work management products. You can learn more about Atlassian Together on our website. So we have more exciting work management updates in uh, store for you uh, later today. But before we move on, I want to share one that I'm really excited by. So whether working at the office or in a distributed team, we all know that Confluence is the backbone of communication and collaboration because it easily allows you to share words, images, text, tables across your team and across your organization. Alongside pages, blogs, and calendars, we're adding some exciting new types of content to Confluence to give you even more flexibility to express your thoughts. Today, we're introducing Confluence whiteboards. I'm super excited to show you this. Uh, with whiteboards, you get a digital canvas to flexibly collaborate, turn ideas into action, and visualize work. Let's take a look. We have all the essential whiteboard features like stickies, shapes, lines, stamps, timers, and more. But the real power comes in helping teams connect their thinking 
to their doing. Like turning stickies into tasks in Jira. Easily done with just a single click. Of course, the opposite works too. You can bring your structured work into an unstructured whiteboard to plan in a more visual state. This could be your designs from Figma, or we can import an entire set of issues from Jira. So with whiteboards, you can bring your planned work into a visual state where you can see and manipulate it all together. Using smart connectors, you can create relationships between items, such as between two issues that is instantly reflected back in Jira. And finally, my favorite innovation, which is smart sections. So sections are great for grouping related objects. And so in this example, tasks you want to action now and tasks that need more exploration. What makes them smart is you can attach automations to them using Atlassian automation. So you can auto-assign the tasks that are ready to be worked on, or you could say label those tasks that need research to be conducted. I think that's pretty incredible. So it's a really quick look at the power and flexibility you get from Confluence whiteboards. You're going to see way more today. But this is available for free for every Confluence user. And whiteboards are available now in early access that you can sign up to on the waitlist to get started. So that's a recap of our events that put a spotlight on the solutions that connect dev, IT, and business teams. They're all built on the powerful Atlassian platform. And to tell you more about that, I'd like to invite to the stage my good friend and Atlassian's president, Anu Bhardwaj. Thank you, Scott. Hello, everyone. What a delight it is to be here with all of you. Thank you for those of you joining us in person in Vegas and those of you joining us via live stream. Scott just gave you a taste of the incredible innovation that we are bringing to all three of our solutions. For even more goodness, stay tuned for the market keynotes that are happening throughout today and tomorrow. Our three solutions are built on top of a common multi-layer foundation, the Atlassian platform. The three solutions being built on this common foundation allows each of our products to enjoy enterprise-grade scale, reliability, extensibility, and performance while being connected deeply through cross-product experiences. Every year, we harden the Atlassian platform so that each of our products can get better together. Let's take a look at what the improvements we've made in our base layer are. Starting with scale. In addition to supporting 50,000 users on every Confluence instance, we're expanding our scale in Jira software from 35,000 to 50,000. And in JSM, we are doubling our capacity from 10,000 agents to 20,000 agents. We know that speed drives efficiency. So we've made everything faster, especially the core user scenarios across Jira software and Confluence. Across industries and geographies, we've been hard at work getting compliance certifications for all of you. We now support data residency in the US and Australia and EU, including Germany, with more regions coming online. Data residency for Connect apps is also on the way so that you can pin data for each of your apps to a specific region. For our US federal customers, we are working on FedRAMP timelines to further fortify our data layer. For customers with advanced data restrictions, we've heard your feedback, and we've shipped one of our most requested features BYOK, or bring your own key encryption. BYOK gives you added protection for your sensitive data via encryption keys that are unique to your organization and managed in your own infrastructure, 
So that gives you additional control over data access in your organization. Another important aspect of security is protection from external threats. With the growing prevalence of cyber attacks, we want to make sure that you have robust defenses in place to protect your teams and your organization. To help you with this, we're announcing something brand new today. I am super thrilled to introduce our newest product, Beacon. Beacon is our innovative threat detecting and alerting solution that secures all products and services across Atlassian's platform. Beacon automatically monitors for malicious user activity and suspicious searches and third-party app installations and authorizations. When something odd shows up, you'll receive alerts in the general dashboard or directly through messaging apps like Microsoft Teams or Slack. With Beacon's investigation functionality, you can drill down into the who, what, when, where, and why associated with every alert. Beacon is in integrated into Jira service management for faster incident resolution. So with the right information in hand, you can remediate any incident in real time. We are proud to share that Beacon has already helped our Alpha customers catch real-world security issues in week one of production deployment. Today, every Atlassian customer can sign up for Beacon's early access program. So make sure you stop by our Point A booth or jump on to atlassian.com slash beacon to learn more. So those are the base layers of the platform. But like Scott said, Teamwork is not one size fits all. This is why we invest in extensibility through Forge and Connect frameworks so you can build your own custom app and integrate with third parties. We continue to grow the marketplace where you can purchase partner apps with over 5,000 listed apps, which serve a variety of use cases. For many of our enterprise customers that want to use even more of our cloud marketplace apps, we have heard your feedback loud and clear. So we are now introducing a new privacy and security tab on all of our marketplace app listings so you can clearly and transparently see the security posture and data access policies of every app. So that was extensibility. Now let's take a look at each element in the shared experiences layer starting with administration. But before we get there, I want to do a quick note of gratitude for our amazing community of administrators. Our admins are our most passionate and outspoken users, often having an outsized impact on the success of our teams. Like Damien Loberton, who has tattoos of the Atlassian logo and is now a certified Atlassian expert and community leader. In fact, he's here at Team 23. So if you're watching this, hi, Dan. We love you right back. <laughs> For administrators, the Atlassian Admin Hub is designed to be a central mission control where you can manage your users and products and subscriptions in one central place. We've now added Trello to Admin Hub with Bitbucket uh, following closely. Just like we do every year, we've continued to ship new features to admins, including visibility into connected apps, reducing shadow IT across your organization, and monitoring app and product usage via audit logs. In Atlassian Access, we've added even more capabilities to help admins enforce security and data access policies throughout your organization. For instance, you'll soon be able to customize your data security policies, giving you even more control over how your data is accessed by apps and shared by your users. We also know that collaboration extends beyond the walls of your organization. So consultants or contractors that need access to your data can now be secured through Atlassian Access, just like you secure your internal users. You can also enforce SSO on Jira service management portal-only users. This is our promise to our admins, that we will remain committed to building more and more capabilities to make your lives easier 
and ensure that you have the control and confidence necessary to run a modern and secure IT org. The second element in the shared experiences layer is collaboration. Like Scott said, one of our fundamental beliefs in Atlassian is that teams are at the heart of all great achievement. Close your eyes and think about your team. Go ahead, the first team that comes to mind. For many of you, the team that came to mind isn't necessarily the team that reports to you in the org chart or the team that reports up to your manager in the org chart. Your team is often a cross-functional group of people coming together to build something great, many times from different parts of the organization. That is why we built the ability to form teams based on shared goals and common work, not just based on org chart. In the Atlassian platform, you can construct a team with members of your choice, making your team either a public team or an invite-only team, and then reference the team across all Atlassian products. You can assign a Jira issue to a team, a JSM ticket to a team. You can at mention a team in Confluence. Whether your team is tackling an incident or launching a marketing campaign, your team profile page can tell you exactly what your teammates are working on, both in Atlassian products as well as other external products that they might use. With Atlassian platform, every team now has a home, no matter where they work, digitally or physically. As teams work with more products, it can get distracting to do multiple context switches throughout the day from tool to tool. To reduce these distractions and help keep your teams in flow, we have devised Smart Links. Smart Links is a shared experience that's woven into the Atlassian platform so that you can link a live view of data in external applications and embed them right into the context that you're currently in. For example, this Confluence page shows embedded issues from Jira with a live issue status. You can update the issue that you're working on and change the status in place without ever having to leave Confluence. You can see a live view of any of your Jira issues and their fields embedded directly into Confluence. What's more, smart links can pull live data directly from third-party products like Amplitude, Miro, Zoom, a ton of other products directly in context. Isn't that amazing? I love using smart links. I publish a weekly Loom video update to my team, and I simply paste that link into the Atlas ticket, and that allows my teams to watch the video update without ever having to leave Atlas ticket. So from cross-product collaboration, we now move to the third element in shared experiences, automation. Since we launched automation in Jira software, over 10 billion automated actions have been executed. That's right, 10 billion. We have seen the immense impact of automating repeatable processes so your teams can focus on the creative aspects of their work. We have now brought that same power to Jira service management and Confluence. Anyone can get started on automation with our library of one click rule templates covering multiple products, including third parties like GitHub, LaunchDarkly, AWS, and more. Let's take a look at how we build automation flows. In Jira Service Management, you can set up a rule to send an automated message to any stakeholder when an incident is raised while simultaneously creating a Confluence page with the postmortem template prepped. And you do all this right in place without having to leave your workflow in Jira Service Management. Each year, we expand automation across Atlassian products and third parties, saving your teams countless hours and helping them focus on the work that matters. To learn more and help your teams automate their work, go to atlassian.com automation. Which brings us to the fourth element of shared experiences. In the modern world, there is a ton of data that your teams are generating every single day as they work together across various different products. Imagine if you had the ability to make sense of that data 
and to harness insights into teamwork that you can collect from your own data. That would supercharge your understanding of how to make your teams effective. This is exactly why we launched Atlassian Analytics last year. Since then, hundreds of enterprise customers have successfully leveraged Atlassian Analytics to boost efficiency throughout their organizations. We cannot wait for you to join them. Let's take a look at what Atlassian Analytics can help you do. The Atlassian Data Lake consolidates data across all of your Atlassian products, which we then connect to Atlassian Analytics, where you can merge Atlassian data with external data from other tools and generate actionable insights for your teams. For instance, the Team Effectiveness Scorecard, which is one of my favorite new dashboards in Atlassian Analytics. This gives you insights into how your team is performing. Are they overloaded? What is the longest poll? Which part of the app lifecycle is taking too long? What can you do to help unblock them? You can also roll up teams and aggregate data across multiple projects into an org effectiveness scorecard, uncovering insights across your entire organization. Dashboards like effectiveness scorecards bring the power of your own data to your fingertips, helping you make data-backed decisions with confidence. Atlassian Analytics is now available to every one of you. It comes included with our Cloud Enterprise editions for Jira Software, Jira Service Management, and Confluence. Check out Atlassian.com analytics to see how you can start making smarter decisions based on your own data. To close, let's hear directly from Dish Wireless on how Atlassian Platform helps their teams accomplish the best work of their lives. DISH has a vision of changing how the world communicates. Our team has brought that closer to home with our personal mission of transforming how teams communicate through transparency, collaboration, and optimization. And the Atlassian platform is really the foundation for that. One of the key things about this cloud-native 5G network that we're building is that we've actually opened this up to over 75 different vendors that are all collaborating together. How do you coordinate across suppliers and tens of thousands of their employees? And when you're going off of data that's eight hours old, that doesn't do it. The Atlassian tool stack has a lot of different components that you can bring together to build an end-to-end -end process. We've actually been able to use analytics to give us that dashboard. Now we're able to be surgical rather than just, hey, I think we got a problem. Here's the problem. We are able to embed the dashboards onto a Confluence page, which adds to our documentation so it's more holistic. Now we have a platform that allows teams to communicate and make sure that we have that visibility into what's going on. We can get data from Jira software, Jira service management, Confluence, and we can all put it in one dashboard. Outside of our executive suites, you can see these dashboards. We have real-time access to that data and information. We now can see the defects identified, triaged, and resolved 70% faster today than a year ago. There was really no other way we could have done this other than with our partners at Atlassian. I hope you're as excited as I am, and Dish Wireless is, about the potential of Atlassian's platform to help your teams achieve the impossible. For the last segment of our keynote, to share with you a highly anticipated new addition to the Atlassian platform, please welcome on stage our co-CEO and one of my favorite humans, Mike Cannon-Brooks. Thanks, Anu. Uh, one of my favorite humans, too. That was a lovely thing to say. Uh, it's awesome to see the evolution of the Atlassian platform that supports all our cloud products. But before we wrap things up, there's one more thing that we need to talk about. AI. Now, these two little letters have been dominating the news of late. You'd be hard-pressed to open your news feed and not see a story about large language models or tools like ChatGPT. 
With AI, we're experiencing a seismic transformation that is going to change the way that we all work forever. For us, it's an incredibly exciting time to be building software because we believe AI will dramatically accelerate our ability to unleash the potential of your teams. Now, we've been using AI via machine learning models to enhance our core experiences for years. Today, we tailor user experiences based on what you're working on and who you're working with. For example, if Anu and I both search for roadmap, we each get personalized results based on what we viewed or worked on recently. Similarly, if I mention someone in a page, issue, or comment, our machine learning model puts teammates already involved and those you work with most frequently to the top of the list. But with large language models evolving so quickly, we can now create new, truly magical user experiences. So we're doing this by combining our existing machine learning models with new large language models, and importantly, infusing them with your organization's knowledge and data. And we call this Atlassian Intelligence. It's your new virtual teammate, and it's, it's awesome. It's now a core part of the Atlassian platform. Atlassian Intelligence brings all the power and magic of AI to our full family of cloud products. But enough talk about machine learning models and large language models. I'm guessing you probably want to see some awesome demos. Is that right? So let's take a closer look at Atlassian Intelligence through five everyday scenarios. So not a day goes by where we don't need help with something, right? From questions uh, about working from home to uh, navigating legal, IT requests, marketing, and everything in between. With Jira Service Management's virtual agents, teams can ask for help directly in Slack and Microsoft Teams. For example, here, Jane needs a software license. Instead of having to wait for a person to help, she gets immediate help from a virtual agent. Now, we call ours Charlie, but you can call yours whatever makes sense for your company. Now powered by Atlassian Intelligence and using the latest large language models, Charlie is able to understand Jane's request, engage in natural language conversation, ask the right questions, and ultimately take action using your IT processes and tools for your company. Just like that, Jane has the software she needs. Nice one, Charlie. Now, in Charlie's first month of service at Atlassian, it assisted with more than half of all our IT, HR, and help requests from more than 10,000 employees. That freed up 20 days of work, or a full month for our internal service teams, a virtual teammate indeed for them. But not every request can be automatically resolved. Your virtual teammate allows you to spend that newfound time on more complex requests that require the expertise of your team. On those, Atlassian Intelligence can still help your service agents get up to speed much faster. So let's look at a common scenario. Here, Aria has spilt coffee on her laptop. Haven't we all done that? She thinks she needs a new one, but IT want to try and fix her existing one before spending money on, on a new one. Now, Molly was the service agent handling that, but at the end of the day for her, so she's assigned it to her teammate Omar, who's just starting his day in a different part of the world. Now, instead of spending time reading the entire conversation thread, getting up to speed, Omar can now click a single button and get a clear, concise summary of the ticket and all the discussion, including the troubleshooting articles that have already been sent. Summary generated entirely by Atlassian Intelligence. So we've seen how Atlassian Intelligence can summarize your existing content, but now let's look at how it can help you generate new content to accelerate your work. After a bit of back and forth, Aria's a little bit frustrated because everything they've tried to do to fix the laptop hasn't worked. So Omar's decided to send her a new laptop, and you can see he started writing a reply here. But with Atlassian Intelligence, given the slight tension in the situation, 
Omar can quickly adjust the tone of his response to handle the situation with the right amount of empathy and care. Now you can see your virtual teammate typing there. But while Atlassian Intelligence is always there to help, it's important that you're always in control. We know it's not gonna be right 100% of the time. So here, Omar is able to insert the text and make a quick edit before responding, just to make sure that it's perfect. With Atlassian Intelligence, he can be thoughtful without sacrificing speed or accuracy. So that was a lot. Let's take a quick step back and look at what's happening behind the scenes. So for more than 20 years, Atlassian has been powering teamwork for millions of teams. As you just saw, they use service management to deliver service-based work, and they also use products like Jira Software, Confluence, and Trello to deliver project and knowledge-based work. Thanks to the Atlassian platform, our open platform, their work is enriched with context from third-party tools that they use to work differently together. New to this is Atlassian Intelligence, which makes sense of it all using machine learning and large language models, and as I mentioned, combining them with your unique data to produce a teamwork graph that's tailored for your company. We just saw how it uses this graph to amplify service-based work in Jira Service Management. Let's have a look at how it amplifies project-based work across some other Atlassian products you may be familiar with. For starters, in Jira Software, you can ask Atlassian Intelligence to define a piece of work for you. Like, in this case, for our upcoming mobile app, defining which phones and operating systems that we should be testing our mobile app on. You'll notice here, Atlassian Intelligence has access to the full power of the editor. It's enabling the creation of instant rich context, uh, rich content, including tables, emoji, smart links. You can clap, it's okay. Uh, not just generating plain text to communicate any piece of work to your team. Now, you can also summarize and extract key information from large volumes of text faster than us ever could. Like here, taking the transcript of a meeting and instantly summarizing decisions that were made and action items that were agreed upon. Now, if you note, there were two people working in this document in Confluence, and Atlassian Intelligence has also joined up the top in the face file as a virtual teammate. It's typing alongside those two people. In this example, you see we're using more uh, rich features of the Atlassian editor. We're generating decisions, and using the teamwork graph, assignees for each task are automatically notified about what needs to happen and by when. So instead of taking another hour to follow up with your team after the meeting, have Atlassian Intelligence do some of the heavy lifting for you. And for your mobile app, it can help you draft some tweets using a product spec that's already documented in Confluence. So in this example, Atlassian Intelligence is understanding all the context in the linked product spec using the teamwork graph, and then coming back with a tailored series of options for tweets for your company based on the spec of your app. It's presenting them in a table so the marketing team can easily compare and decide whether the more professional or the more casual better suits the brand of this particular company. Now, don't get me wrong. Large language models will be available to generate text everywhere and by everyone. So what's unique about Atlassian Intelligence? Well, you've seen the generation not of plain text, but rich text, including emoji, smart links, and all the features of the editor. You've seen the creation of actions and using the teamwork graph to assign those actions directly to colleagues. And you've seen it take the context of your data. In the first example, the Jira issues fields, and then the product spec in Confluence as input to generate tailored content for you. And again, it's all built on the Atlassian platform, so it works in all our cloud products. That's what we mean by combining machine learning models and large language models with your data to create these magical AI experiences. That is Atlassian intelligence. Now, now, those are just a few of the capabilities coming very soon to our family of cloud products. But we're not quite done yet. 
So let's take a little peek at what else Atlassian Intelligence will be able to do in the near future, like helping teams to learn on the fly. If you're anything like Atlassian, your documents are full of acronyms and custom institutional terms, some of which you may know and some of which you don't. These might be internal systems or project team names, abbreviations, key metrics, or sometimes people just trying to sound smart. Well, when you see a term you don't know, Alaska Intelligence is ready and waiting to explain it for you. It's, it's like having a live dictionary, a glossary, and a knowledge graph, all built automatically and specifically for your company with no setup. It's using large language models to understand your content and the teamwork graph to understand your organization. It not only explains terms, but it can help you navigate your company too. For example, here, where to find related work, who is the subject matter expert, and which teams are working on it. Your company's institutional knowledge is automatically connected and always on tap using your existing data. And it's not just on tap in Confluence, it's on tap in all cloud products, including Trello, and of course, in the Jira family. So with Atlassian Intelligence, you can learn on the fly and help every team in your company to speak the same language. Lastly, a lot of work we do involves finding information, which is often to answer a question. And if you can't find the answer you're looking for, you're blocked. Fortunately, your virtual teammate is available 24-7 to help you answer anything. A simple example, it understands the context of everything you create and share in Confluence, enabling it to answer specific questions based on the content of your pages. Like here, finding the exact date that you decided to launch a new mobile app. It's read those pages so you don't have to, and it's giving you the answer. Or how much you're able to spend on your home office setup. Even here, detecting that the person asking is an Australian employee and pulling out the Australian uh, HR terms. For the keen eyes out there, you'll notice that these questions are being asked in natural language, just as you would ask a teammate in the office. And you're not limited to just asking questions in Confluence. It works in Atlassian Analytics too. So you can ask Atlassian Intelligence whatever it is that you want to know. Like in this case, how support trends change as we ship software. Now, this is actually a really complicated question. This is actually a really complicated question. So you need to query data from both Jira software and Jira service management in Atlassian Analytics and combine them. You can see that from the complexity of the query that it's generating here. But it's okay, your virtual teammate can do this, understand your language, and give you the answers. It understands your natural language, it writes the complex query to get the data from multiple sources. Here you see two Atlassian products, but it can also query third parties that Atlassian Analytics can talk to. So you can combine your data with Workday and Salesforce alongside your Atlassian products, as two examples. Finally, one of my favorite new superpowers that we're gonna give you all. We know millions of teams around the world model their development, IT, and business processes with the powerful Jira family. Many of them love the flexibility of JQL, the Jira query language. But a lot of people struggle to harness the full power of JQL. Well, what if you didn't have to? Let's say I want to know what features are blocking next week's launch of that mobile app that aren't being worked on currently or are missing designs. Well, I can just ask Atlassian Intelligence. And like magic, it understands me. It understands the project I'm interested in that I'm working on. It understands the issue statuses, custom fields, priorities, relative dates. And if you look closer, you'll see that it also allows us to find issues based on third party tools that are connected to Jira via the open tool chain. In this case, it knows we use Figma for designs. So when I've asked for design, it's queried the things that have or are missing Figma designs. And if English isn't your native language or you have a global team, 
Well, we now have translations on input. Ask in your native tongue, whatever it may be, French, Korean, German, 24 other languages, and Atlassian Intelligence will give you the answers no matter what language you ask in. It speaks your team's language. So that's Atlassian Intelligence. Let's have a quick look at a recap. So that's, that's Atlassian Intelligence. Again, it will be included in all of your existing cloud products over the coming months. If you're interested in co-creating with us, join the waitlist at Atlassian.com slash AI for early access, or head over to the booth to chat with the team and see some more demos. We can't wait to co-create this with you. On that, thank you very much. That's it for me. For those watching on the live stream, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, that's a wrap.